Hey, what is up, guys? This is C Finale Design here, and today I have for you episode two of my Road to All Lava series. So today I have three replays for you guys, and so let's get started. So in this first raid down here, this guy is an inactive player, so pretty abandoned base, pretty much. So what I'm going to do is drop some barbs and soon some archers on the right side of this guy's base. So my troops are moving in pretty steadily. We already got a couple collectors taken out. And now, that mortar is out, so we have an elixir collector right on the right side of the town hall, so I am planning to take that out as well as the town hall, and then from there, use the rest of my army on the left side of this guy's base. I still have my heroes, as well as a couple barbs and archers, as well as my giants, so I am pretty confident that I, well, I was pretty confident when I was raiding this guy that I could still take all the loot. And these archers, it looks like we'll not get the town hall, unfortunately. So I have to send in a few more and they get it. So then I send in my other 10 barbs and 14 archers on the other side of this guy's base where there are still quite a few collectors and then i send in my archer queen to try and get more my king is going to be stupid and go outside and take out two air defenses two wizard towers and a level five archer tower I deploy some giants to try and negate his health damage, which unfortunately won't really work because there were already a few defenses firing on him, but the cannon is targeting the giants, which is good, but he still ends up losing all of his health in this attack, I think, if I'm not mistaken, and my queen is being stupid shooting a wall, and so she takes out that drill, but I end the attack pretty soon here. And my queen is going to be stupid and go the wrong way, which absolutely sucks because I left behind 100,000 gold on that base, which really sucks. But it is still an okay raid, I guess, about 450,000 resources. Next up is an attack on J Lord of Willow, which is a Town Hall 8 with all of his elixir and his dark elixir at the core of his base. So I'm spreading out my giants here and then sending in a few barbs to test for traps and then so I drop the rest of my barbs and now I am dropping my archers. So they are heading in, and so that Archer Tower was taken out, Wizard Tower is out, and unfortunately there was a giant bomb right in that compartment that my troops are going into right now, which kind of sucks, but um, we still have our heroes and quite a few giants and barbs and archers, so... I am still pretty confident that we can get the loot from this guy's core. So my heroes and infantry just took out the town hall, and now they're moving in to take out this guy's core, in which he has plenty of storages. So right then, I used my... Hero abilities and ended the raid because I took all of his elixir and his dark elixir. Now, here's the final replay right here. 
This is against Short Circuit. He has all of his elixir storages quite fairly close to the outside of his base. I do normally encourage people to bait clan castle troops out of a guy's base but for me in this raid it was not necessary because he neglected his clan castle and put it on the right side of his base along with an expo for some reason that's outside right next to his town hall i don't get that i guess he doesn't want people to snipe it but they still can i chose to ignore it though just for the fact that i i wanted the loot so I did not care about getting his town hall. He did gain some trophies because I decided not to go for 50%. I just deployed my giants, barbs, and archers as well as a couple wall breakers and my heroes to take out this guy's elixir storages. I did not go for the dark elixir, but that was for two reasons. The first reason I did not go for it is because that is not my primary focus. My primary focus is gold and elixir because I am farming up walls, not heroes or dark troops. My dark troops are already maxed and my heroes are level 20, which is pretty decent already if you ask me. So I'm not focused on dark elixir, that is the first reason. And the second reason is to conserve hero health because I do not feel that it was necessary to go in to that guy's base to get his dark elixir when I was primarily focused on the elixir and it would have cost him my hero's health. So that is going to wrap it up for this video, you guys. I did upgrade two more walls since the last episode and put them in the right positions of my war base. Well, war bases because I... Modified all these and all of these. So, yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more interesting content. And I will talk to you guys all in the next episode. Peace out.